So what happens when you sit for too long is that blood pools in your butt and legs. <laughs> and that's not what we're after. Yeah. When I'm working with teachers, I tell them it works against what we're trying to do in the classroom. It works against what we're trying to do as writers. The other thing that happens is, and I think we've all experienced this, unless there's a real intense emotional engagement, when we sit for too long, the brain says, hey, you've been sitting for a while. You must be sleepy. And I'm going to do a little chemical brain dance. I don't need to get into all the names of the neurotransmitters. It's not important, but it makes you sleepier. And you sit for too long, you get lethargic, the blood pools, and the brain is set up to like shut down. And as writers, that can hamper us. That's not what we're after at all. And when I'm working on a project, because there's times when I sit, just a quick aside here, the obvious thing is to have a standing desk. And then I'll get back to that in a moment. But I do sit more than I'd like to. But I, the longest I'll ever go is 30 minutes because I can't take it. Uh, 20 to 25 minutes is more like it. I'm up all the time. I just take pride in living a physical life. And it doesn't mean I have to kill myself exercising, but it just means being physical and using our bodies. The other thing too, let me say this, that we cramp our breathing systems. You know, we're trying to breathe deeply and properly. We're trying to use our diaphragms and our lower half of our torso versus this very shallow chest breathing. And so when we stand up, we have a better opportunity to do that. And you know, what researchers are suggesting is that culturally we sit for long periods of time and when we want to take a break, we stand up for a couple of minutes. What they're suggesting is, hey, we should look at learning and doing and working from a standing perspective. And when we want to take a break, we just sit down for a couple of minutes, which is fine, but it's opposite of that. 